controversy over Time Magazine's new cover story on attachment parenting. It shows a young mom breastfeeding her three-year-old son. We will talk to that mom exclusively in a moment. But first, WNBC's Darlene Rodriguez has more on this intensive approach to parenting. Darlene, good morning to you. Good morning, Savannah. Well, for some women, the idea behind attachment parenting might seem overwhelming. Carrying a child all day, breastfeeding, in some cases through the toddler years, even giving up space in your bed. It is the new extreme in bringing up baby. Parenting has never been easy, but it seems to be becoming more complicated from sheer numbers to unusual feeding methods. How to properly raise a child is much discussed and hotly debated. Look at her, she's so happy. What are you talking about? But she's playing, you believe me. Oh, honey, she's a baby. This morning, Time Magazine hits newsstands with more fuel for the fire, an eye-grabbing cover story on the increasingly popular theory of attachment parenting. It is an intensive approach to motherhood built on the bonding foundations of breastfeeding right up through toddlerhood in some cases. A family bed, wearing your baby, and attending to that baby's every cry. 72-year-old Dr. Bill Sears is the man behind attachment parenting. Raised by a single mom, his 1992 The Baby Book put a heavy emphasis on a mother devoting extraordinary time and energy to her baby. For some, it raises a red flag. When you give a child the feeling that the whole world revolves around them, it's not good training for the real world because the whole world doesn't revolve around anybody. And the time cover is generating one of the biggest responses ever on Today.com. In a poll, we asked what you think of the breastfeeding cover photo. More than 122,000 of you responded, with 27% saying it's great and 73% saying I don't really want to see that. Savannah? All right, Darlene Rodriguez, thanks so much. Jamie, Jamie Grumet and her three-year-old son, Aram, are featured on the Time magazine cover. They're here, along with Dr. Bill Sears and Time's science editor, Jeffy Kluger, who wrote this article. Good morning to all of you. Good morning. Okay, Jamie, you knew that this was going to cause a stir. Did we, you yeah. know it was going to cause as much of a stir? No, I don't think we, any of us were expecting it. But you wanted to make a point. And what um, point was that? The point, um, yes, we knew exactly what we were going to get into. Um, I felt like our family was basically mm. one of the better ones to handle this mm. because of my mom's um, my. personal breastfeeding. Yeah, buddy? Do you want to go see daddy? So, uh, oh, yeah. He can walk over okay. if he wants. So you're saying you, you yourself were breastfed yeah. until you were six. This is yes. this attachment parenting is not just about breastfeeding. Uh, it's also about letting the, the child mm. sleep in your bed. Basically yes. being with the child constantly. Is that what your life is like? Um, it, it is. And we still, I mean, I don't feel like that takes away from my own personal life. You know, my relationship with my husband is very, very important to me. And I think that it gives my children a strong bond too. So I think a lot of people say, you know, you can't really be, you know, intimate with your husband if you're co-sleeping. And that's just, I mean, those are kind of myths too. Well, well Dr. Sears, let me turn to you because you more or less wrote the book on attachment parenting. And one of its tenets is you should never let a baby just cry it out you and should if you can wear your baby in a sling all the time and, and why is actually, this the ideal you know, in your mind actually if, if you came into my office as a new parent and say dr bill i want a parenting pill that's going to turn out a happy healthy well-connected super baby just a connected baby who gives you eye contact i've never yet seen an attachment parented baby who's become a school bully and i'd say practice attachment parenting and those baby bees, birth bonding, breastfeeding, baby wearing, belief in the cries, beware of baby trainers that will cry it out crowd, and, and balance something good for mom and baby. But Dr. Sears, I know you know what your critics say, which is yeah. that this takes a good thing, mother and child yes. bonding, and takes it to the extreme. And, 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 and in it, some cases you know, may undermine a child's self-sufficiency. And that's why we put balance. It's not extreme. If you were on an island, and you had no mother-in-laws, no psychologists, no doctors around, no experts. This is what you would naturally and instinctively do to give your baby the best investment you'll ever give. Jeff, let me turn to you. This article touches like every hot button issues of, of parenting. And I think a lot of moms might come away with the thought, boy, if I can't do this, if I have to work outside the home, am I somehow harming my child? Exactly. And just one correction, the piece was written by Kate Pickard, our, one of our most inexhaustible writers. And one of the points that she makes in the story is that 
children and parents are unique to themselves. And as Dr. Sears says, and as Kate quotes him saying, do the best with what you have. If you can't be the perfect attachment parent, if you work outside the home, then when you're home, this is your time to invest. So how best can you practice the closest possible bonding, the greatest possible nurturing with your child, and still ob uh, observe the general tenets of attachment? Jamie, parents. let's go back to the cover. Uh, because these are it tools and not rules. Okay, right. fair enough. Right. Oh, to talk yes. about the cover, because it has made such a splash. And you mm -hmm. said you knew what you were getting into. I did, I did. And I understand some of the breastfeeding advocates are actually a, a upset about this. Um, Are they why? Because I feel like they don't show the nurturing no. side to attachment parenting, which is, um, you know, more, it's, this isn't how we breastfeed at home, you know, it's more of a cradling, nurturing um, situation. And um, I understand what they're saying, but I do understand why Time chose this picture, you know, because um, it is going to be such a you know, it did create such a media craze to get the dialogue. Now, talking. I know you have another child who's five. How long do you plan to breastfeed Aram, who's almost four now? Um, well, we're going, we're going to do child live weaning, but um, I personally, I'm hoping our fourth year, just for me, is probably going to be our final. He's self weaning right now. Um, and it's, you know, it's a, it's a big commitment and it's not, you know, it's not right for everybody. And I think that that's the big thing is you need to do what's best for your baby and for your own family. So if this, you know, you can take some of Dr. Sears' attachment parenting philosophies and um, maybe not others. And it's okay. You're not a bad parent. Your child will still be okay. Well, thank you for sharing your story, Mommy. Jamie. Mommy. Aram, you're done here. You get to leave now. <laughs> yeah. Dr. Sears and Jeffrey Kluger. Thanks to all of you. Appreciate it. Good job. Yeah.